What's up everyone? Today I want to talk a little bit about flashlights. <clears throat> uh, I did a video a while back just about pens and I did my EDC what do I carry video and so I figured I would just do a kind of a sampling of, of flashlights. Now I'm not going to go through and review all of these and talk about them all but <clears throat> I've been into flashlights for quite a while um, and I still have some hanging around from like my childhood days, double, you know, 2D Duracell. I mean, come on, who who doesn't remember this? And uh, wow, it's a it's a bright one, but it it's kind of evolved my flashlight carrying and most of yours as well. And then there's some of you that probably don't carry a light. And I'm going to tell you why you should. So I've evolved from, you know, the childhood light. I think we've all had a 3D mag light. Um, this one, does this have an LED? Yeah, so this one's been converted to LED and still works great. Um, and I think we've all had a mini mag. When I was back in the late 80s, I uh, actually carried a mini mag all the time with me when I was working in fast food way back. <clears throat> Um, I would carry a mini mag all the time when I was, you know, looking in the fryers and just cleaning up and all of that. And then when I was out installing, you know, systems and, and pulling cable through the ceilings, I went with the uh, Surefire 6P, great light. Um, this runs on the CR123A batteries. The mini mag is obviously double A battery had a Hellfire, which is also the same light uh, batteries as a Surefire. Not quite as bright, but so it kind of evolved. So if we kind of go to more modern day, it's really, you know, this batch here. Um, started out with the Streamlight. I absolutely love it. Triple A, one triple A battery, and it just it's great. Disappears in your pocket. Uh, and I use this, I mean, on a daily basis, I use a flashlight to find something underneath the table that you dropped, um, find your keys in, you know, in your purse, if you carry a purse, to read a menu in a dark uh, restaurant. I mean, I use a light all the time. And I also love this Olight, you know, again, very similar AAA. And then I kind of got into the 18650 batteries, this Convoy S2. Cool light. Um, as you get into these types of lights here, they have a lot of different modes. So these ones are just on and off. Okay, it's on or it's off. This one has two different brightnesses, depending on how many times you push it. You know, your mini mag light, obviously has the adjustable flood. But these ones here do strobe lights and do high, medium, low turbo and a bunch of stuff like that, which <clears throat> is cool. But at the end of the day, I personally just want my light to turn on and turn off. That's why I love the FW3A and the Andrel driver, because I can turn it on I can just press and hold it and it ramps up, press and hold and it ramps down, double click and I get turbo. It can do all the strobe lights and a bunch of other funky stuff, but I personally don't need that. Same with this one from Big Knives um, and Deadwood Customs. On, and then this one, you have to just click, every time you kind of click it, it goes to a different mode. This one has secondaries, so it has green, couple of different green um, levels. But again, I generally just set it where I want it and turn it on and off. Same with the Okluma. So again, you can press it multiple times and it has different settings for different brightnesses. It's okay. I just want something to turn on and turn off. And then turbo mode if I need it. <clears throat> the flashlight thing, I think everybody should carry a light. I would recommend something like this, 20 bucks, and you're good. If you want to go nuts, 
you go with an FW3A for that $50 range, the Convoy for, you know, $20, $25, or you get up here to the Akuma uh, all aluminum, 300-ish, or you get an engraved with a Dragon Driver in the 700 range. This is the most expensive flashlight I've ever bought and will likely ever buy. I have seen flashlights go for four or five thousand dollars and I think that's crazy. This is an Axiom all copper, a eh, hundred bucks, 150 bucks, something like that. Pretty cool light but super heavy. I'm not sure, I mean it's like anything, it's all relative. You can buy a pocket knife for 50 bucks or you can buy one for five grand. The lights are the same way. You can buy something for 20 bucks, you can spend four grand or more. It's all in the what type of material it's made out of and all of that. But at the end of the day, it's just a light. It's just a knife. Why, why are we striving to spend more money on things sometimes? I think it's kind of funny and I'm guilty of it too. You know, we just want the next bigger, better thing. Um, and it happens with lights. Like I said, I started with the $20 this was my first kind of rechargeable 18650 uh, battery sized light. And then I think I got the uh, Convoy in a trade with somebody. And then I got an FW3A. I ended up with this from a buddy and then I had to have the bag. And then I stopped myself. I'm done, I can't go any better or bigger. I don't need anything in Damascus or Timascus or some exotic materials. I think it's just kind of, funny and hey if you if that's what you want to do you do you right I mean people think it's funny that I have knives that are thousand two thousand three thousand dollars right but again why do we do the things that we do I think carrying a flashlight every day is an imperative thing that everybody should do I think it's um it's awesome I use it more than I use my knife more than I use my pen almost more than you use your wallet. How often do you use your wallet if you're not going to the store? If you're just out driving around, going out to dinner, you may use your wallet once. I may use my light two or three times going to and from dinner. So, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to ramble a little bit about lights because I had done a pen video. Um, because I think it's an important topic and I kind of want to understand why people do what we do. And I'm starting to kind of rethink things a little bit. Why? Why are we always striving to have the biggest, baddest light, the biggest, baddest knife, the biggest, baddest pen? You know, I've stopped myself in the pen world. I think this one from my buddy Mark over at Big Knives has stopped me in the flashlight world. Because the reality is, I honestly, I carry the FW3A, I think, still the most. Carry the big second. And then I carry one of these AAAs, um, third. I don't carry most most of the others that often um so let me know what you guys think i just i'm curious to find out what are you striving for what is this whole collector world that we're in and why do we do it i don't know just kind of rethinking some stuff these last few days and a couple of weeks you know i got that uh, hamilton watch and made me rethink some of my other collections so i may put a couple of watches up for sale because that other Hamilton kind of checks the boxes. Um, could I put some lights up? Yeah, maybe, but they're just not worth that much. You know, I mean, maybe this one would sell. I'm sure this would sell, but it's it's big. It kind of goes with my big collection. So I don't know, just kind of a, a general light conversation, looking for your comments as to what lights do you carry? Do you, what do you think of the light? you know, hobby and collections and stuff like that, just because I'm curious. But anybody that's not carrying a light, seriously consider. Find something like this on Amazon for 20 bucks. I think really the stream light was 15. Uh, and I think this one was maybe 21 for the Olight. But you can still get mini mags at uh, Home Depot, things like that. I don't know. I think a light is an essential piece of gear for anybody to carry around all the time. So anyway, let me know what you think. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, you'll have a great day. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks.